Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to a video called Time Lapse of the Entire Universe. Very similar. This was suggested to me through Patreon, and this is very similar to Time Lapse of the Future, A Journey to the End of the Time, which is still, to this day, one of my favourite reactions I've ever done. It was one of the most interesting, mind-blowing, just absolute fuckery of videos I've ever watched. And it was it was really like interesting to see like the possibilities of what could happen, but it just messed my head up, honestly. And the fact that there's another video out there that's probably quite similar in some ways, I guess. I'm excited to see it. But yeah, let's just get into this one. I was suggested this and I was thinking, actually, you know what? This is a really good suggestion because I didn't actually realise there was another, another video out there that was similar to it. But here we go. And yeah, let's just check this one out. Quick shout out to my Instagram and my Twitter links in the description for that. Same for my Patreon. As I just mentioned, this was suggested through Patreon. And I'm thankful for that because I don't know how I even missed this video. I think it's going to be an incredible one and I'm interested to check it out. So let's get into it. Okay. Let's turn the sound off a little bit. Every class you say it represents 22 million years. <laughs> see, when you see this, this is ridiculous. On this scale, humans do not appear until the last fraction of a set. <laughs> that is perspective for you, man. We are so. We've been a. F we're so irrelevant, bro. I'm already getting there, man. We're, we're so irrelevant. We're a fraction of the second for this whole video. That just makes you realize how. Nothing we are. Let's <laughs> begin to free. Let me just turn the sound down a little bit. Because it's just going to be sound. From the primordial cloud of gas and cosmic dust. Oh, he's speaking, there is speaking. Sorry, I'm messing this up. <laughs> I love Brian Cox so much, honestly. He's so soothing, man. <laughs> and he just explains things so simply. From the primordial cloud of gas and cosmic dust, gravity forged the stars. Look at this editing already, man. Early star formation. Gravity connects star systems together in vast galaxies and steers them on their journey through oh, unbounded yes. space. The relentless flow of time has driven the evolution of the universe and created extraordinary wonders. Hey, this is ridiculous. Some galaxies form so close together that they're locked in a gravitational embrace. What a magnificent sight it would be. But imagine witnessing this, obviously the possibilities aren't there, but just imagine being able to see this now. Just imagine. As it evolves, the universe passes through distinct eras. Vast ages whose beginnings and endings are marked by unique milestones. The births and deaths of its wonders. We are the product of a grand evolutionary sequence, cosmic evolution, about which we are only occasionally aware. Gravity mm. is the great creator, 
the constructor of worlds. But gravity is also the destroyer, because it's relentless. When a star like around 15 times the mass of our sun collapses, all the matter in its core is crushed into an infinite void of blackness known as a stellar mass black hole. The immense gravitational pull of these monsters can rip a star apart. Now that is fucking power. Ripping a star apart, are you mad? from its surface and drag it into orbit. This superheated matter spins around the mouth of the black hole and great jets of radiation fire from the core. Although these jets can be seen across the cosmos, the core itself remains a mystery. But look at Not that. even light can escape, so their interior is forever hidden from us. Jesus. Throughout a star's life, there is a constant battle between energy pushing out and gravity pushing in. When it runs out of fuel, the star collapses and then explodes with the brightness of a billion suns. Star death and rebirth. We're getting close to it, baby. Earth's, Earth's time to shine is soon. <laughs> Look at this, man. As the star is torn apart, Will fire out into space all the elements that it created in its life and death. These are new stars forming from the elements blown out by supernova explosions. Oh wow! New stars being born. It's from like the planting seeds, of dead kind ones. of. Like when, like, sort of like when you have a plant, I know it's not the same scale <laughs> at all, but when you have like a plant or you have like a, some fruit, you have the seeds, you plant the seeds after you eat the fruit or after they rot away, and they'll obviously form new plants. It's kind of, well, it is just how life works, I guess, but again, I probably have seen this in the previous video the fact that when stars die, they'll sort of create new sort of stars, etc. But I didn't actually realize it was to this degree and i didn't actually um, i guess i didn't remember it if i have seen this before that's and it's why from this universal process of death and rebirth that we emerged because for the boys remember, baby just like this five billion years ago that our sun was formed Clouds of hydrogen collapse further and further under the force of gravity, and the life cycle of a new star has begun. A star was born that would come to be known as the Sun. Around it, the network of planets formed. Among them was the Earth. Debris left over from the formation of the solar system collides with the Earth. began life as a molten hell. The early continents were still forming. The land was dominated by volcanoes. Hostile and lifeless. But deep in the oceans, life had begun.
strangest theory is that chemicals spewing from underwater volcanic vents solidified and created the conditions needed for the first cells to form. Oh wow, I didn't even know that. So it was volcanoes that... Bro, volcano... <laughs> volcanoes are the reason we're here. That is an absolute joke. Like, what the hell? The more you know, right, but god damn. My head is already gone, man. Thank God for the volcanoes, man. <laughs> That's what I'll say. For some three billion years, simple microscopic organisms were the most advanced form of life on the planet. Cyanobacteria and other oxygen producing microbes began to bloom. These flourished in colonies of plant-like microbes that pumped out enormous volumes of oxygen. Oxygenation. And it was this increase in oxygen <laughs> that was the key to the rise of the animal kingdom. Organisms started using oxygen to respire, yielding a lot more energy, which allowed the development of more complex life. Just before complex life appeared, the world was in the grip of the biggest ice age in its entire history. And then suddenly, advanced organisms appeared. This is so That's it, mate. This video is absolutely incredible, and I was—I'm not surprised, but my god, this channel does not miss. Again, I feel like I checked the channel before when he done another video, um, or the other video that I saw, but oh, he actually does like sort of mini movie type videos. Maybe I should check some more of his videos out then. Life Beyond Chapter One, Alien Life. Again, I might have to because these videos are so interesting, man. It's just so soothing and just the editing is incredible. And before he was just doing remixes, like music, like what the hell? It's crazy how people's like YouTube content varies and changes throughout their sort of time on YouTube, but mate, what a video. This channel is way too advanced to be on YouTube, man. Did anyone realise we will wait another 22 million years before another second can be added? <laughs> See, that is when my head just wants to explode, man. Most of the universe being a small atom in an organism. This really makes you think, what's the point of anything? Seems like the camera man is older than the universe. He existed before the Big Bang. Don't blink, you missed a few million years. The birth of the sun gave me chills, like Jesus Christ. No one knows how lucky we are to have our lives. Who wants to see this turn into a full series? Yes, please. If, if that's what he's done, I'm going to be gassed, man. My respect to our son for keeping us alive for more than five billion years. And to think that there are actually people who think Earth was formed 6,000 years ago. Is that is that true? People think that. Is that, wait, is that the same people who think the Earth's flat? <laughs> we all have to wait 22 million years just to add another second. That is crazy. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Crazy, crazy video. Let me know your thoughts on this. And again, if you want to see more reactions like this from this channel, because my God, this was... This, it's just like a spectacle, man. It honestly is like a spectacle and it's an experience to see these types of videos. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. And until next time, like, subscribe, and peace.